Hello guys, what is up? Inkslasher44 here, and I'm about to give you the most useful tip ever given in Skyrim. Um, I'm sure someone's made a video of it, but uh, this is the way to get all of your stats to 100 the easiest and get you to level 81. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to finish the quest uh, Transcerning the Transmundane, and uh, this quest is found... Um, actually at the College of Winterhold, but it will take you to this place called Septimus Cygnus Outpost. And uh, what this guy does is he gives you um, this thing, you have to go to this place, you solve a puzzle, and then he tells you to get a bunch of blood from um, different types of people. And then after that, uh, what's going to happen is he's gonna, uh, you're going to go back to this place, the Septimus Cygnus Outpost, and he's going to open this big cube thing. And he's going to try to take this book and he's going to die. What you're going to do is you're going to take this book. Do not read the book. Do, do not even open it. Just take the book and leave here. So right now I am outside of this outpost. And what we're going to do is we're going to travel to Whiterun. Um, the reason being because we have to do this special thing to make this book work over and over again. And get our level way up. So we're going to go to Dragon Search. Um, we're going to press the S. And once we get to Dragon Search, the point of this is we need to buy a house so we can use a bookshelf. Um, I couldn't find a bookshelf anywhere else. If you know of a place of a bookshelf, you can just simply go there. But that's not going to work for us. So, um, once we get to Dra uh, Dragon Reach, or whatever it's called, um, we're going to have to talk to a specific guy. And uh, he's going to sell us a house along with everything in the house. So we're here, and we're lagging. Um, so we're gonna come in here to Dragon Search, sorry. Oh no, it's Dragon's Reach, what am I saying? Um, so we go in here, and then hopefully the guy we need to talk to will be sitting right there. And I don't think he is. Shit. Uh, where is he? Uh, we might need to wait a little bit, which is fine. Wait two hours. And where is he? Okay, we might have to go and look for him then. Is he in here? Nope. Oh. Is that him? No, that's... that Lydia, you need to have Lydia though. So you need to be at least that far in the main quest where you have her. But that's not who we need to talk to. We need to talk to... This fellow right here. Uh, Brill is his name. So what we need to go is we need to go down to... I'd like to purchase a house in the city. We buy the house. I'll take it. And you need 5,000 gold to do this, but this is, I believe, the cheapest house. Uh, and then I'd like to decorate my home. And we're going to buy an alchemy laboratory. Like, that's not all I want to buy, buddy. And what else? I'd like to decorate my home. Well, we're going to buy everything, but this guy's talking a little too much, so we're going to buy bedroom furnishing. I actually think it's the living, living room furnishing you actually need the most, but... Uh, we'll get the living room. And the dining room, and we'll leave the rest. That's good, so when we're done with that, we've bought uh, all that stuff, we go back to the house. Which I'll show you the pathway to get to it in a second once we leave uh, Dragon's Reach. So, uh, the main point of this is you cannot read the book until the point where I show you. And there used to be a way easier way to do this, but they patched it. So that shows you how overpowering this um, exploit, tip, whatever you want to call it, is. Um... And literally, the first time I do it, my level is going to go from 43 to 44. The next time I do it, my level is going to go from 44 to 45. And I'm not just talking about a single skill. I'm talking about my overall level. Because this book doesn't just upgrade um, one skill. It upgrades like four or five at a time. So, where are we? Okay, we're going to go down here. Um, then we're going to turn right. And here's our house right here. So, before doing this, I suggest you save. Reason being, because it's kind of easy to screw up the first few times you do it, just because you're not used to what you're doing. So you're going to come over this bookshelf, and you're going to activate the bookshelf. That is a must. You have to activate the bookshelf. You're then going to go into your books, 
open up the book you got, the Ogahama Infinitium or whatever, and then you're going to read it now. Now it is okay to read it once you have activated the bookshelf. So then once you do that, this thing is going to pop up. You might have to wait a second, and I'm going to choose the Path of Might. Um, it doesn't matter because you can choose them over and over again. So I choose it. I level up instantly. All my stuff levels up. And then this is the most important part. Once you're done with this, you're going to back out of the book. Do not press back out of this menu. You're then going to store the book in the bookshelf. Like so. Press square or whatever it is on your console or system you're doing it on. The book will then be stored in the bookshelf. It may take a second, but there it is. Then what you're going to do is you're going to read the book again. But you are not going to select one of these options. You're going to press do not read and you are going to take the book. You can then activate the bookshelf again and go through the steps again. So I'll say it out again. You re go to your books, read the book, wait a second, the screen pops up, choose the path of might or shadows or magic, whatever floats your boat, choose it, back out, and store it in the bookshelf. And there you go. That is the easiest way in the game to get everything to level 100 and get your overall level to 81. I hope you guys enjoyed. It doesn't take very long to get to level 100. You just have to have a little bit of patience. I hope you enjoyed. And if this helped you out, please remember to leave a like rating. And until next time, guys, peace out.